Hey there, today I thought I would share what is in my travel bag with one new packing method. I have a carry-on suitcase and I have a weekender type bag that's going to fit under the airplane seat. The one new packing method is for my personal item carry-on bag. These are both considered carry-ons. This is a carry-on suitcase. It could be a large duffel bag. Anything that fits the luggage requirements for a carry-on suitcase for your major airline is acceptable. And this is considered a personal item or an item that is going going to fit per their luggage requirements under the airplane seat in front of you. The one new packing method which gave me the idea for this video is I packed a packing cube inside my personal item bag because for our trip to Pawhuska, Oklahoma, I have packed a lot of my shoes in the carry-on suitcase and I don't usually travel with that many shoes but you can see I still have space for shoes in the outside flap of my suitcase if I needed more but this is a very short trip so that's why I'm able to do this. In this first packing cube is a change of clothes because we're getting to Tulsa, Oklahoma and then we're going to be touring all afternoon and evening and so I wanted to change into shorts that were fall colored that Reed Drummond would approve of and then I have another shirt and shorts for later or for tomorrow. One travel tip for packing your personal item bag if you want to use a packing cube in there is because packing cubes are smushy, that's going to be my smushy side. So if I have to smush my bag or put my feet on top of the bag, I'm going to let my smushy side be on the floor side if that makes sense. I need to have like my liquids, I want that to be on the opposite side and I'll try to keep or work around that if I need to smush something near there, if that makes sense. So essentially I have packed everything lengthwise. And so I have two rows, my packing cube and then my pouches. And then I also pack a crossbody bag. I wanna have both hands free. So I'm going to use a crossbody that does go with burgundies. And in it, I have my wallet and it's gonna have all my cards and some cash and then my new glasses case and then my chapstick and my equals because I'm a sugar snob or a fake sugar snob. And that crossbody can fit in my personal item bag. And when you get on the airplane, you're only allowed two bags, all right? So when I get inside the airplane, that's when I pull out my crossbody or when I get off the airplane, I'll just pull out that crossbody and put this back on my suitcase. I bought this personal item bag late spring because it is so large. I don't know if it's still available on Amazon or not, but I will link it below. The reason I bought it is because when I'm walking through the airport, this flap will fit over my suitcase handles, letting me be hands-free while I'm walking through the airport. In my personal item travel bag, I also pack my sunglasses in a bright case because it's easy to find in a black lined bag. I always try to take an empty water bottle. A lot of airports have great water fountains nowadays. It's not the old timey ones. And then I keep my power bank charger. This has all the cords in it that you need to plug it into the wall to charge it before you leave. And then this will charge your phone fully two times. And then I have two of my headphones. One fits my phone and then one fits an old timey airplane entertainment system if I have to use that kind of plug. And then I have an attachment that fits to my phone uh, from that. And then since it's fall, I'm going to take my cardigan because it goes with the burgundy colors that I'm going to be wearing if I get cold on the airplane. My mother-in-law just got here and she said that it felt like it was 40 degrees on her airplane. I have my liquids bag. I have pre TSA pre-check, but I always like to keep those liquids on my person. So in case my bag gets checked to the belly of the airplane, I'm in control of these and they're gonna be totally pressurized normally the whole time. And just yesterday I was putting shampoo in my normal squishy bottle, which I love, and the top just slid right off and I learned my lesson don't buy the off brand. I left my go tube or go tub shampoo container at a hotel and so I bought this one at our grocery store and it hasn't even lasted a whole year. But these containers, they're awesome. I tested it 
upside down all night and it worked fine it kept my shampoo in there we'll see how it does but i have used these on other flights for like thick lotion but um shampoo and some face moisturizer is a really they're really runny liquids and so that was my test for this one but i have a it comes in a set of five and then i am bringing my mousse because my mom and i are sharing a room and she is not bringing her mousse and then I'm also bringing my moisturizer, regular size bottle. I am bringing my Gold Bond Diabetic Lotion. This is super thick and does not leak out of these old containers that I have. Just in case any of you are wondering, lip gloss and mascara count as liquids and they need to be in your liquids bag. I also have eye primer and my foundation and I only have a little bit of foundation left and I plan on throwing this container away so I don't have to pack it to come home. And then I have my eye makeup remover from Mary Kay, toothpaste, eye drop, and Vaseline that I keep just in case I need that. I also packed a little amenity kit and that's got band-aids because I am wearing brand new shoes for the most part. I have my key for my trip home. I have my little case that I pull out to put my hearing aids in when I get on the airplane. I have a pack of Kleenexes. There are the band-aids. There's something else in here. Oh, my little Plexus pink drink for one of the days. Oh, my fingernail file carrier. <laughs> this is what it comes with. It's like glass or crystal something. Um, I'll link it below. It was a treat to myself. You get two of them. And then um, the one that I keep in my purse, I just use my little emery board because that's the fingernail file that I prefer. I do have a video about how to make your own DIY amenity kits, especially for a long haul flight. Things that you would pull out when you get on the airplane. Thank you for visiting my Travel Tips by Laurie channel. I know your time is valuable. If you haven't subscribed, just click on subscribe and the little bell beside the word subscribe and you will get notified once a week when I upload a free travel tip video. Another important travel tip is to know that if your suitcase does get checked last minute, you are going to have to hold this bag or carry this bag on one shoulder the entire way to the baggage claim. So just be prepared for that. One of my subscribers was not, and it was very painful and inconvenient for her. <laughs> okay, if you've watched my ultimate travel tips, I like to use a perimeter of my suitcase for my shoes, and that's what I've done in there. And then I pack the other packing cube in the center, and that's just pajamas, another couple of outfits. And then I have my makeup, deodorant, uh, let's see, toothbrush, my vitamins, my face wipe, my makeup brushes are in this little bag and I don't have any of these bags that I can link for you, they're old. And then these are also called packing cubes and the reason that they are great is that they also have a handle but this is great for undies, bras, socks. It can also be used for technology cords. It's a place to pack all of those things as well. And these come in a pack of four. I got these sandals because they're almost neutral like khaki looking but they're a little elevated heel and they are so comfortable they were at dsw and they're steven but i will link them below and then these are my regular merrells that are super super old they're more for hiking but i did not want to bring my tennis shoes and these give me a lot of support as well if you can think of another travel tip or something that I've left out that is an essential to you, leave us a comment below. We have a community down there of positive reinforcement, great, smart, efficient tips down there. So share your positive and great ideas, please. Do not leave any links because YouTube will spam you and I will not ever see your awesome comment. But thanks again for taking your time and happy travels to you.